Welcome to Blender. I'm, I've been doing this freaking intro for so long. You know what? Thank my page. As always, a huge thanks to all my Patreon members for making me join my Discord. Whatever. Let's get in. Anyways, sit back and let's get into the mess. What is going on, everybody? The first myth today, we're going to be testing how many windows we can actually have inside Blender. I'm super curious about this one because I've never done anything more than about four windows. And so we're going to go ahead and test out. Now, what I mean is if we click and drag up at the top, we have now duplicated a window. And so how many of these does Blender actually allow you to do? So yeah, I'm just basically going to be doing this, just duplicating window after window and getting it to a crazy amount on screen. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward that uh, so we can see the final result. Okay, so there you go. We have an entire page filled out now. Now I did have to stop, unfortunately, just because we're running into this issue. The entire thing is just lagging up like crazy. Now I will say I did a two hour stream where we literally filled up uh, as much as we can. It was super fun and really enjoyed everybody who was able to drop by, but we are not stopping this process. We are now doing a community event on the Discord where we are trying to get everybody to pitch in to fill out the rest of the page. Now I will say you will need a beefy PC. Literally it's eating up all my resources i've never had a blender project crash on me this many times and so uh it's gonna be super fun we're gonna try to fill out this entire page join the effort if you want to link is down in the description below for the discord but for now i'm gonna leave this myth as plausible just because we have a lot of work to do still just because it takes around like a minute per window now just because that's how laggy it is and so i'm sure we're gonna revisit this in the future when we have all of the windows filled out but yeah Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna be doing an old adage where is, uh, it's better to actually increase your resolution versus increasing your sample count. Now, I've always kind of subscribed to this, but I've never really tested it uh, hardcore, and so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Basically, uh, the whole thing is if you're rendering at 1080p, you have to set a higher sample count if you're gonna be rendering out something, versus that if you actually go ahead and change it to some higher resolution, you can actually render at a lower sample count, and usually most of the time, that will actually increase or decrease render time while increasing the quality and so we're going to test that today i have a little image right here that we're going to render out first of all we're going to start at 1080p at 100 percent and so that is 1080p and we are going to do a sample count of 512 that's usually the sample count i like to do for 1080p so 512 right down there we're just going to render out one image uh, just to compare the different results so let's go ahead and render out that image Okay, so there we have it. We have uh, 2 minutes and 55 seconds per frame at 1080p with 512 sample count. Uh, let me go ahead and save this and we can go ahead and move on to the 4K render instead. Okay, so like I said, now we're rendering at 4K, so 200% of the original, and then also rendering at 108 samples now. So let's go ahead and render out this frame and see how they uh, compare not only in the render time, but also the quality. Okay, so exactly what I thought, we are about 20 seconds over the render time, so it is longer per frame, but you gotta remember this is 4K, and so that is much, much better. Uh, let's go ahead and compare the difference uh, so we can see if it's worth it or not. Okay, so here we have it. I'm just in Nuke to uh, demonstrate what I'm talking about, but here is the 4K renderer. I'll uh, zoom in super close into the render here. So here's 4K and then here's 1080p. You can see a large difference there, but that's not what we're really comparing. I mean, obviously 4K is gonna be much more high detail than 1080p. If I go ahead and scale down the 4K into 1080p now, is it gonna be a better render? And keep in mind, this is a still image, but there is some uh, stuff that we can still get from this. If I go between the differences, so here is 4K, 4k and then here is 1080p you can see there is a difference and now which one actually looks better i'm super zoomed into the volumetrics here and so 1080p you can notice a lot more noise a lot more kind of artifacty nature that is the uh, denoising actually taking into effect and since it, there is a less amount of resolution for this image it doesn't have enough information to actually denoise as accurately as the 4k render so the 4k render retains a lot more of that original detail if you compare it in the uh, kind of blender version you can see the detail here this is the 4k one is much higher than here it's kind of a whole big mess over here especially if you're doing animation in the sequence this is going to eliminate pretty much every uh type of denoise artifact for only 20 seconds more per frame and that is minuscule in the grand scheme of things uh, especially if you are going to be rendering this overnight it's kind of silly not to go ahead and render this in 4k and then down sample it to 1080p so i'm going to say this myth is actually busted 
Okay, so this next myth, uh, I'm going to be trying to explain what the Blender 1 file type is because I constantly have people ask me that. Uh, and so we're going to be testing if it's actually meant for us to use as artists or if it's more so for Blender to be using in its back end. So I have a default scene right here. We're just going to go ahead and add some like random meshes in the scene just so we can make uh, something that's very unique. So we'll add a cone and that and then we'll go into the camera view and just like move it around over here, you know, just something random so that we can uh, see what it actually does. And so let's go ahead and hit file save. We're going to save it in a brand new location here that is totally fine and so now if we come back out of here we can go and load in that project and so as you can see we have untitled right here and so now if i open up the project again uh you should see it loads in that's totally fine and then if I go ahead and just come up here and file and we're going to save that project, you can see we have saved it down here. If we come back out of here, we now have a untitled.blend1. And so what is that untitled.blend1? Many people think it's just uh, something that goes along with your Blender project that uh, it needs to do in the back end. So say it needs to record some data or whatever there. Uh, but that is actually not the case. Say I am working on a project and I accidentally delete my Blender file. Oh no, I accidentally you know went to another folder and now it's gone forever of course you can maybe still try to get it back with the recycle bin all that stuff but don't worry uh, the project is here still here and that is the blend one file type so all you have to do is you're, you're just gonna click inside of here to rename the file you're just gonna delete the one on the very end you want to change the file extension you want to hit yes and then there we go we have it now set to another blender file type if we double click inside of here it's gonna be an exact duplicate of the project you can see and so all it is is a fail safe backup file that we can use uh, all we have to do is just rename the file and we have the exact uh, same project here and so you see a lot of programs I know nuke uses a similar system as well and so that is all the blender file type is so I'm gonna say this myth is busted as well and now for another myth that has to do with the rendering. Uh, this comes from the addition of the use tiling button right here. Now, if you remember in past Blender versions, it'll uh, go ahead and render out in tiles on the screen. But now in the uh, latest render versions, it uh, usually doesn't render in tile sizes. If you're under 1080p, you can see our tile size is larger than 1080p, both on the X and Y axis. And so that basically means that it still is using tiling for this entire image. But what if we are actually rendering out at higher that image uh, you will actually see if I come up here we're gonna be rendering in 4k so 200% at 1080p so if I go ahead and start my render image you will see that only part of the frame is actually being rendered and so our question is uh, do we actually use the used tiling button or is it better to turn that off and go ahead and render out the entire frame at once so we're gonna let this run and we're gonna do two separate tests one at 1080p and then one at 4k to see if it really matters on both whether we have it on or off. And real quickly, I just want to showcase what it looks like when used tiling is off. You can see the entire frame is actually rendering. We don't just have a chunk of it. So just want to showcase uh, to show you visually what it's actually doing. Okay, so I went ahead and ran those tests a couple of times just to make sure that uh, no outliers are being shown or anything like that. But as you can see, we got a 108 with the used tiling turned on. And so this is where it renders out in tiles. Uh, this is the 4K version. And then if we go to the non 4K version, we are saving around two seconds in a one uh, a one minute and eight second render so that's not nothing i think there is something to be said about use tiling actually doing it a little bit faster of course it is going to vary scene by scene uh, depending on what you have this is a very high volumetric particle scene uh, low geometry and so i think that really helps uh, the use tiling in this case but we can go over to 1080p remember 1080p was actually lower than that default threshold and so what you had happen is both of them are basically the exact same you can see 17.37 this is the use tiling method and then 17.7 they were all within this margin of error i would say this isn't conclusive either way if it's fast or not uh, this is again within margin of error since the render time was so fast and so i'm going to call this myth uh, it depends on your scene and really your gpu cpu and ram combo and you shouldn't take this as a exact word of what it actually is and you should do your own test based on whatever scene that you're running into to decide which one is actually better so i'll see you on the next one Okay, so for this final one, it's a little bit silly, but I'm going to say confirmed already because Blender, what are you doing? Why is this not already default in the program by now? Blender, please, please, we're begging you. Wait, am I...